class. Now I'm going to show you how to use this class weight calculator to find the probability in normal standard normal distribution. So at first you need to on your calculator. After you press the button on, go to mod 7. This 7, you will see this not standard normal graph. So press button 7. After that you choose 2. Choose 2. Okay, after choose two, you have one lower, you have one upper. So look at the distribution information that we have here. Let's say if you want to find PZ greater than 1.25. So when you draw out the graph, it will look like this. So this part at left hand side is lower, right hand side is upper. So look at this graph, lower will be 1.25. So upper, you simply put one big number. Example, actually 5 is already enough. So you can press lower is 1.25. And then upper, you put 5. Then equal, equal. Your answer is 0 0.1056. Example, question 2. So this one, PZ less than negative 0 0.53. After you draw out the shape, it looks like this. So lower will be this part. So we can put negative 5 if it's small enough. And then upper, you put negative 0 0.53. So try to key in like just now. So lower will become negative 5. And then upper, I put negative 0 0.53. So I will get the answer as well 0 0.29 at 1 and then example question 3 this one after draw diagram we will get like this right draw the diagram less than so this part 0 0.97 this part so this part so lower lower limit will be the lower limit here we can put negative 5 so lower limit become negative 5 so equal upper limit become 0 point nine seven so put it equal then we get the answer zero point at three something similar like this and then like question four so lower limit after i draw this question after i draw i have negative like this so this one is lower limit so upper limit i put five so i'll key in so negative one point six to add and then upper limit i put five so key in you get 0 0.9 something and then for this this type of question so this part is lower limit this part is upper limit so you can try so lower i put 0 0.5 upper i put 1.25 see i can get the answer straight away 0 0.2 something and then for this one also so this question this one will be lower limit this one will be upper limit so just key in like usual so negative 0 0.625 and then upper limit is 1.38 so let it equal then you get the answer 0 0.6 something so in short you just remember after you draw out the diagram if you understand no need to draw the diagram if you don't understand draw out the diagram at left hand side is lower this part is upper no matter where is this lower upper at then all this value if it is like this this like this this one is lower this one is upper just remember left side is lower right side is upper so this is how we key in to find the probability value from this calculator